could get it under contract to buy this home, but I, I don't have the money. Yeah, what are you gonna burn now? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I didn't go to that way because I didn't want to go to jail again. And my mom was kind of disappointed with the whole jail story. But um, I, uh, I, I just kind of, you know, we, we grow up thinking it's not okay to ask people for money, but I just lit my car on fire to save my house. So pride is not something that I had a big problem with, you know? And so I just called everybody, everybody in my Rolodex. I remember kind of being frustrated because I'm calling saying, hey, can I borrow $140,000 to flip this house? And, you know, I didn't know anything about hard money loans or banks or any of any of that stuff. But it turns out uh, there's a lot of money out there and probably a lot of people in, in everyone's network that has money that they don't even realize. And after I called probably 100 people, one of them was like, oh yeah, I think that's a great idea. And I have a little experience with that and I'd love to lend you the money. And so that just kind of got me going on flipping and realizing that if I can find a good deal, the money's out there. All right, so you got you bought this house in your neighborhood. I bought the house in my neighborhood. How much rehab did it need and who? how'd that get done? Actually, it needed a ton of rehab. Um, so then I ended up calling a, a good friend of mine who had a flipping show on television, um, Mike Bear. Oh, Mike. Yeah, and uh, he was doing Flip Man on Spike TV. Yeah, and he and Doug. I just said, hey, I'm kind of in and over my head. I've bought this house, but now I don't know how to pay for the rehab. And so I was able to talk him into partnering with me and kind of showing me the ropes. And we just split the profits of the transaction you know, 50-50. And he, he showed me how to do it and brought the rehab money, and I had brought the the money for the purchase and it just kind of worked out. It's amazing to me with everybody I talk to it becomes more and more apparent that real estate really is a people business. Yeah absolutely you know and and it's not even just people in real estate but like just involving your whole network in in what you're doing and being open about it, it it's pretty helpful. Mm -hmm. So the you got the first flip you got your first property you were able to flip it you got had pretty much a mentor that partnered with you, somebody with a lot of expertise. He mm -hmm. and Doug did, did uh, a lot of properties. Yeah. So you got your first property, you flipped it, it worked, right? You made a profit? We actually didn't make any money. No, okay, <laughs> so this is, right? It doesn't always go yeah. golden. Yeah, so our very, our very first deal, um, I remember sitting across from Mike, my partner and mentor, and he's like, you know, we didn't actually make any money. And I had staked everything on this, you know? And I was like, well, I mean, we just spent four months, and I was there every day, and this was the only thing I was doing at the time, and it was kind of a blow to me. But it, you know, it, there was a lot of lessons that I was able to learn from that. Like we over rehabbed the property, we overestimated the ARV. There was just several parts of the project that, you know, and and uh, Mike, as good as a mentor as he was, he let me make a lot of the decisions, do a lot of things because he had several other right. projects going on. We ended up, I, I say we didn't make any money. I'm pretty sure Mike shouldered probably a five or six thousand dollar loss and he was capable of doing that. And at the time I had nothing, but I, I just got nothing. And I remember, uh, you know, uh, I had already in that four months lined up a couple of other deals. And there was a moment probably the last one I've had where I thought maybe I shouldn't do this, you know, maybe uh, I, like, what if I lose money on the next one and the next one? I mean, I'm broke. I, I'm already broke, but I decided to push forward, you know, and I, I just, I've found that, you know, when you're afraid that usually means you're on the right track. So <laughs> I, uh, I went forward and the next deal I made uh, so much money on, it, it was a life changer for me.